कैलोरीमेट्री Its mass is or another liquid. Take another liquid, different type of liquid. This is another liquid. Okay. Now this is a uh, y. This is x. These are two different types of liquids. The same mass, same mass. Both have same mass. The temperature of this liquid is, um, for example, eighty uh, degrees Celsius. Eighty degrees Celsius. First of all, if these two liquids are mixed, which liquid loses heat? X. X amount of liquid loses heat. Why? Okay, here this liquid X liquid uh, loses heat because it has high temperature. This liquid Y gains heat. That means heat lost by the Hard body. Now this is to be treated as hard body. Hard body. This is treated as cold body. Cold body. Cold body. So the amount of heat lost by this hard body is equal to the amount of heat gained by this cold body. This is the principle of calorimetry. So, what is the principle of calorimetry? Heat lost by hot body is equal to heat gained by cold body. So, first. So, what is the principle of calorimetry? Heat lost by cold body. Heat lost by hot body. Heat lost by hot body. Heat lost by hot body is equal to heat gained by heat gained heat gained by cold body. Now this is the principle of calorimetry. Okay. So this is calorimetry principle. This is the most important calorimetry principle. Calorimetry principle. What is the calorimetry principle? Heat lost by hot body is equal to heat gained by cold body. Okay, in this problem, I am taking three different types of liquids. 
okay three different types of most important problem here i am taking three different types of liquids a b and c what is the temperature of a 12 degrees celsius the temperature of a is 12 degrees celsius temperature of b 19 degrees celsius c 28 degrees celsius three liquids three different temperatures but their masses are same okay right when a and b are mixed is 16 degrees celsius okay when liquids a and b are mixed a this is that means uh, 19 the resultant temperature is 16 degrees celsius a and b a and b are mixed resultant temperature 19 degrees celsius no sorry 16 degrees celsius next when b and c b and c that means 90 degrees and okay degrees. mixed resultant temperature is 23 degrees celsius what is the temperature when A and C are mixed? This is the problem. Okay? How to solve this problem? First, most important. Okay. What is the temperature of A? The temperature of A is 12 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature of B? 19 degrees Celsius. Okay, when these two are mixed, what happens? First, okay, 12 degrees Celsius and 19 degrees Celsius liquids are mixed. What is the temperature? 16. Resultant temperature of these two? Resultant temperature? Resultant temperature of these two liquids is? 16. A and B are mixed 16 degrees Celsius. 16 degrees Celsius. So, what is the calorimetric principle? Heat lost by hot body is equal to heat gained by cold body. Okay. Now, this is the principle. Heat lost is equal to heat lost. Which one is lost to heat? Because A has high temperature. B, sorry. B. Heat lost by B is equal to Heat gained by cold. Heat why heat gain by A because B has high temperature, A has low no temperature. So what do, how much of heat it is last? Ms delta T. We are using the formula Ms delta T. Okay. M means mass of liquids. Both masses are same. So M S specific heat of B. Specific heat of B. M S delta T temperature difference. So this this liquid losses heat. Okay, very good. Temperature difference 19 minus 16. The final temperature is 16. Initial temperature is 19. So, the temperature decreases, that's why heat is loss. How much of heat is loss? 19 minus 16. 19 minus 16 over. So, uh, the formula is just like ms delta t. ms delta t. So, what is heat gained by A? ms remains the same. Mass remains the same. Same mass. M mass. M yes. uh, specific heat of liquid A yes, SA yes. specific heat of liquid A. So liquids has different specific heat. Heat gained by A gained means final temperature minus initial temperature. What is the final temperature? 16, 16 minus 16. what is the initial temperature of A? 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. Okay. Right. Here, three mm will cancel. S B is equal to. Or S 
3 S B 3 S B is equal to 12 plus 16 minus 4 4 S B. Therefore, S C A is equal to 3 S B upon 4. Okay, this is the equation number 1. Similarly, when B and C are mixed, what is the final temperature? 23 degrees Celsius. Okay, the process is same. Same process. We are doing the same process. When B, what is the temperature of B? 19 degrees Celsius. B temperature? 19 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature of C? 28 degrees Celsius. If these two liquids are mixed, what is the resultant temperature? Resultant. Resultant temperature. What is the resultant temperature? 23 degrees Celsius. 23 degrees Celsius. Okay. In this one, which liquid losses heat? C. C. Which liquid gains heat? B. 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 Okay. What is the calorimetric principle? Heat loss. What is equal to heat gain? Very good. Heat lost by heat lost by C is equal to heat gain by B. Okay. The method is same. Again, same method. How much of heat lost by C? M S delta T. Mass remains the same. Mass of all all liquids are same. So M specific heat of C delta T means heat lost. Twenty eight minus final temperature twenty three degrees Celsius is equal to how much I heat gain? Mass remains same. M. M. Specific heat of B. Heat gained by final temperature minus initial temperature. 23 minus 90. 23 minus 90. Here also M, M get cancel each other. Both are cancelled. Okay, 28 minus 23, 5, five. S, specific heat at C is equal to 23 minus 19, 4, specific heat at C. Okay, now this is another equation. From this equation, S, B is equal to 5, specific heat at C upon 4. Now this is equation number Okay, what happens when A and C are mixed? When A and B are mixed, now this is one equation. When uh, B and C are mixed, this is another equation. Now, when A and C are mixed, what happens? Now, this is the first step, second step, third step, third step. Okay, what is the temperature of A? 12 degrees Celsius. Temperature of C? 28 degrees Celsius. When these two liquids are mixed. Okay. The final temperature when these two are mixed, the final temperature is unknown. So, we are considering the temperature is theta. T or theta. So, resultant temperature, resultant temperature is theta is equal to percent. Temperature theta T, almost T, we are taking T also, temperature. So, here, out of these two liquids, which liquid losses heat? 28 degrees Celsius. Which liquid gains? Solid. What is the calorimetric principle? Heat lost. Heat lost by C is equal to heat. Heat gain by C. How much of heat lost by C? 
Yeah, yes. Mafia. Specific heat of C. MSC. Delta T. Delta T. 28 plus minus T. 28 minus T is equal to heat gained by A. Yeah, mass remains same. Specific heat of A. T minus 12. T minus 12. Final temperature minus initial temperature. <coughs> okay. Solve this one. M will cancel each other. Okay. Right. So, by solving these three equations, okay, substitute these two. Solving these two equations. In the place of SA, we can substitute it. B, S, B. In the place of so, in the place of SSC, from equation 2, from equation 2, in the place of SSC, 4, S, B, upon 5, times 28 minus T is equal to, in the place of SCA, from equation 1, 3, S, B, upon 4, into T minus 12, okay, S, B, S, B, get times 4 upon 5, 4 upon 5 <coughs> times 28 minus T is equal to 3 upon 4 times T minus 12. Now this is the equation. Okay. Solve this equation. Cross multiplication. 4 for 16. 16 times 28 minus T is equal to 5 times 3. 15 times t minus 12. Okay, 16 times 28. 448. 448. 448 minus 16t. That is equal to 15t minus 180. Okay. Okay. 16t plus 15t. 31t. 31t is equal to 628. Therefore, t is equal to 628 upon 31. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20.